Crafty Hope and I am here with the, another edition of my jewelry making for beginners series. This is going to be technique number three but it's actually the eighth part of this series. So th this technique um, we are going to be making a wrapped loop. I have to tell you making wrapped loops is probably my favorite technique. It's what I use over and over and over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and get straight to it. What you need to make a wrap loop is either an eye pin or a head pin or some wire. Here I've got some wire and I'll show you what we're going to do with that one. But I've got a head pin. It's got a little head on it. And a bead of some kind. Some round nose pliers. Chain nose pliers. And wire cutters. In this case I'm using some flush cutters. Um, just because you're going to have to trim fairly close to the bead and it's nice to have these. So let me go ahead and get to it. So to make a wrap loop you're going to start by threading your bead onto your head pin so that it is flush. Once you get it flush take your round nose pliers and put them here against your bead. Now the farther up on your round nose pliers you put it, the more space that you're going to have to have to put your wrapping in there. So I tend to put it pretty close to the edge, the front of the pliers. So once I do that, I bend this at a 90 degree angle, giving it a little bit of an open area there. Can you see that? Um, so in this little bend here, we are going to put our wrap. So from here, I like to bend my 90 degree angle up just a tad, maybe make it more like a 45 degree angle. And I'll slide my pliers up to make it about the loop size that I want. And again, this is going to take some playing on your part. And I wrap that around it. I shift my round nose pliers and I complete my loop. So you can see here we've got a loop here. So I will reposition my pliers to make sure it is comfortable for me and I'm going to take this tail here and wrap it around the stem that's just above that bead. Now I do this and I tend to make a pretty um, non-messy loop. It's a really a um, kind of a neat looking and it almost always for me is about three wraps around that stem there. So I'm seeing you can see our little there we go. The wrap there. So we've got this tail hanging off though. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your flush cutters and you're gonna trim that tail off again, hold the end of it or put your cup it or point it down into something so that that tail doesn't go flying. So I trim it and I dispose of it and then I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and I am going to find where that tail was trimmed and press that little end in so that there's no way it's going to poke somebody or stick out or anything. And just like that we have a wrapped loop. Now isn't that fabulous? Now you can do the same thing with a piece of wire and I'm going to show you um, how to kind of make a messy wrapped loop. Um, so with a plain piece of wire without putting a bead on it we're going to bend our wire at a 90 degree angle, slide our round nose pliers up, make our loop, go around, shift our pliers back around and we have our loop. Then again, shift your pliers to make it more comfortable for you and wrap. Now, once I get a single wrap around, if I'm doing a messy wrap, I will angle, instead of keeping it in line underneath the other one, I will angle it out and kind of go out here and back up here and make it just very disorganized so that you get more of a messy wrap. Now once you have it at the end of your wire there, ah, you're going to take your chain nose pliers and again get that little tail and tuck it. Um, just again try to get it down flat against the wire so that you don't have it poking anybody or anything. It's hard for me to talk and do it. <laughs> so. 
that is done. So once I have my little messy wrap on one end, I can slide a bead on. So I've got a little a pearl here. Let me find the opening for it and slide it on. And of course, it is far too big to go onto here. Ah, let me find another bead. All right, so I'm going to slide this bead onto there and do the other end just like we did. 90 degree angle, move it up to about 45 so we can fit our pliers in to make a larger loop, loop it around to make our loop, reposition our pliers, and then wrap. And again, we're making a messy loop, so I'm going to make that first loop to secure it and then angle down and go against the base of the bead and then kind of in between and up and, and I'm really not super great with messy loops mine always come out far neater than I intend so there's a bit of a messy loop and I'm going to trim it again with my blush cutters use my chain nose pliers and press just like that so how can you use a wrap looped pretty much a variety of different ways. For one thing, you can take this bead that you've wrapped your loop on and just put it on an ear wire. Open your ear wire and twist it closed and you have an earring. Um, with a, I like to make chain a lot of times out of wrap loops and basically I will put, you know, have my bead on there I can find one that'll fit on this thicker gauge wire that I'm using. Um, and when I make my loop like this, when I get my loop around like this, before wrapping it, I open it slightly and slide it on to the next bead like that. And then I hold it and I wrap it. just like that and of course my bead would already be on there um, and I would just make a long chain but that is my favorite way to use it and what why would you use a wrap loop they're way more secure than a simple loop that's the main thing that gives it a little bit of extra decoration you know especially if you're using the messy wrap but I like the security that you get from a wrapped loop so, if you have any questions about this technique, make sure to ask me in the comments. Um, like this video if you learned something from it or if you just like the video. Subscribe, follow me on um, Crafty Hope on Twitter, Instagram, and other social media. And thanks for checking in. Bye! Mm -hmm.